are assembling or using the Peapod bike trailer, be sure to carefully read the owner's manual and all the safety warning labels. Out of the box, the Peapod is folded flat. Remove and set aside all the items from inside the Peapod as well as the other parts that were packed in the box. With one hand on the front bumper tube and the other on the rear frame tube, Open the frame up and press until you hear a distinct click on both sides of the trailer. Make sure the two red plastic locks are fully seated against the bottom black plastic spring latches. Raise the fabric on the rear storage compartment and lift the handlebar to the desired location. Turn the knurled knobs clockwise to lock the handlebar in place. Lock the rear storage compartment open by pushing down the two locking hinges on both sides of the storage compartment. Install the removable tote bag into the rear storage compartment by clipping the plastic buckles together. Install the Peapod dashboard by securing the four hook and loop closures around the handlebar. To install the wheels, first push the button on the outside of the wheel hub and insert the axle through the hanger bracket on the frame. Push all the way in and release the push button. The wheel will automatically lock in place. Give the wheels a tug to make sure they're securely fastened. If you use the Peapod as a simple stroller, install the swivel wheel by inserting it into the receiver mount in the center front of the frame. Push the wheel until it clicks into place. To remove this wheel to use the Peapod as a bike trailer or jogger, simply depress the button on the housing to release the wheel. When using the Peapod as a stroller or a jogger, attach the leash around the handlebar. Slip the end with the big loop through the end with a small loop and snug it up to the handlebar. Then slip the big loop around your hand. Remove the leash before towing the Peapod behind a bicycle. To install the parking brake, turn the trailer frame to one side and remove the rear wheel. Move the brake pedal so the brake arm under the Peapod moves forward. Insert one of the two pins found in the small parts bag through the hole in the silver bracket on the brake arm and move it into the notch in the gray support arm that's already bolted to the frame. The long end of the pin should be facing out toward the wheel. Thread one of the two lock nuts found in the parts bag onto the threaded end of the pin and hand tighten. Using a 7 mm open end wrench on the flat part of the pin and an 11 mm open end wrench on the nut, tighten the pin securely. Reinstall the wheel and then repeat this procedure for the opposite side of the Peapod. After installing the pins and lock nuts and reinstalling the wheels, to operate the parking brake, simply put your foot on the brake pedal and push down to lock. To unlock the brake, put your foot under the brake pedal and raise up. From the parts bag, locate the 4mm Allen wrench, two bolts and lock nuts, and the two wheel guards. Locate the two holes on the side of the trailer frame just in front of the rear wheel. Push one bolt through the front hole in the frame from inside to out. Then align the wheel guard so that the locating pin is in the rear hole on the frame and the bolt is through the hole of the guard. Thread a lock nut onto the bolt and hand tighten. Then using the Allen wrench and an 11 mm open end wrench, tighten the bolt and nut until the wheel guard is firmly in place. Install the other wheel guard on the other side of the Peapod the same way. Assemble the safety flag and insert the end into the small sleeve on the side of the trailer fabric. The clear vinyl windscreen and the protective mesh barrier zip open for loading and unloading children. The protective mesh barrier should always be zipped closed when children are riding inside. It allows for ventilation but prevents debris from entering the trailer. In inclement weather, the clear windscreen protects passengers from the elements. Weather permitting, you can roll up the windscreen and secure it with the hook and loop straps. The tow arm is held in place by a spring pin, 
and a quick release pin. Installing the tow arm is easier if the peapod is rolled back on its frame. Depress the spring pin and insert the tow arm in the bracket on the left side of the peapod. Once the spring pin locks in place in the hole on the bracket, find the quick release pin that's already attached to the trailer frame. Insert the pin through the bracket, flip the safety clasp over the pin. Check the pin to make sure it's secure and roll the peapod to its upright position. The peapod attaches easily to most full-sized bicycles. Remove the quick release axle from the bike's rear wheel and place the hitch over the dropout and wheel hole. Then slide the axle back in place through the hitch. Tighten the axle nut and close the quick release so the hitch and the rear wheel are securely in place. Before attaching the tow arm to the bike, remove the Peapod's front swivel wheel. To attach the tow arm to the bike, insert the hitch into the end of the tow arm. Align the holes and insert the safety pin. Lock the pin in place with the spring clip. Loop the safety strap around the bike frame and secure it back onto the D-ring onto the tow arm. Test to be sure the tow arm and hitch can't pull free from the bicycle. Once more, make sure all the connections are secure on the bike and on the trailer and you're ready to roll. With the Peapod, everyone enjoys the ride.